What's good, YouTube? It's the Kid Baloney TV, and I'm coming at you guys today with another reaction video. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. oh. All right, y'all. Right, look, today we got Lil CJ Casino. First, I mean, damn. Today we got. Today, today we got fuck. Today we got Lil CJ Casino featuring Lil Tuzi and Quinn FNN or NFN, whatever. Nick to a brick. All right, bro. Look. I'm gonna keep it solid, bro. See, they seen it hard. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas from Stop Six, you know what I'm saying? From um, Murderworth or Fort Worth, Texas. You know what I'm saying? Right out, right after Arlington, I'm pretty sure. I've been there. I think I've been there once or twice. Was passing through there, I think. Yeah, my nigga. That nigga hard, bro. I first heard Casino from, from um, what's his name? Uh, Goyeo. I don't know if they still beefing, but I mean, like, they, they was beefing at one point in time, and it was stupid because, excuse me, they was the two hottest niggas in um, Fort Worth. So, they could have been cool with each other, making dope-ass music, man. They could have really put, I mean, they already have some. I mean, they already kind of have, but I'm saying, like, they really could have put Fort Worth on the map if they would have actually just stuck together and actually, you know what I'm saying, just put that bullshit aside, you know what I'm saying, and get shit popping, you know, because they really could have had shit going in Fort Worth, you feel me? And I fuck with Lil Toozy too, man. He got a few songs I fuck with. He got a song called Arms that I really like. I don't know about this Quinn NFN. I mean, I've heard him before, but I don't really, you know what I'm saying? I don't know him too much, but I maybe heard one or two songs, period. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really listen to dude like that, but I'm definitely really wanting to see what this is talking about because I like Lil CJ Casino and I like Lil Toozy. So I know it's gonna be, you know what I'm saying? They really probably go, go back and forth at each other because really these niggas really both hard. But, make to a brick, let's do it. Like we ain't got them business, nigga. Big business, nigga. You know what's going on, nigga. Hello, hello. Mello. It's on, nigga. Dead child. Hey, go. Young nigga came from up under them trenches. We get the dough with the bottle remixes. It's good by the polo that got extensive. Pick up the low, get it going with the quick. If we top of the blow at the ops, we spin it. We want the smoke, you cannot be forgiven. You can get smoke and I'm minding your business. We're having the whole nigga. He said, you drop a disc, get lynched like image. I'm pausing. You can tell these niggas is hood niggas. This nigga is getting his haircut outside. <laughs> and that little Quinn NFN dude is actually wasn't actually bad at all. He actually, he actually, you know what I'm saying? He actually, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't necessarily say caught my attention, but he actually had me like, okay, okay, yeah. Are you coming a little bit? And like, you kind of have to. I don't wouldn't necessarily say lower your, lower your expectations for these kind of rappers. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say you kind of have to just be, like I said in the last video, you kind of have to just be able to, you know what I'm saying, understand that music is changing and you have to be able to, you know what I'm saying, see, you know what I'm saying, just see what this new wave of rappers is bringing to the table. It's not going to be no Nas type song. It's not going to be no, you know what I'm saying, ain't going to be no ether. You know what I'm saying? ain't going to be nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? These guys... Music is changing, it's evolving. So you kind of have to listen to what he's saying. I actually thought the dude was hard. The song is actually straight, man. The beat cool, you know what I'm saying? And like, I want to see what CJ talking about. And I know they put Tuzi back at, at the end because they know Tuzi finna snap. So yeah, <laughs> I know Tuzi finna snap. So yeah, you kind of have to just, 
You know what I'm saying? You kind of see, see what he's talking about. So let's keep going. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. PJ Kane. Yeah, yeah, CJ Kane. CJ definitely Kane. pretty much it man this is what i think about it like i said in the video i made before this it's a new wave of you know what i'm saying it's it's like the norm to have um guns and shit in your video so i'm not gonna explain on that i just wanted to bring that back up because i'm not gonna harp on it too much <gasps> excuse me i just want to bring that back up that i feel like you don't really have to do that, you know what I'm saying? If you can rap, you don't even need props and shit. You don't need to put guns and shit in your, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that these had niggas have props. I'm just saying, like, the average nigga, you don't have to bring guns and shit in your, in your, in your tracks, my nigga, because if you're a hard-ass rapper, nigga, just say that. You don't got to look hard, my nigga. Like, they gonna fuck with you anyway because they fuck with your music. So whatever you drop, they gonna fuck with you, period. To the song itself, hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that nigga, Queen NFN, I think it was smart for him to go first because... You know what I'm saying? I feel like if Tuzi would have went first or if, you know what I'm saying, CJ would have went first and it would have been him in the middle or him last, it would have been like, man, he kind of fucked up the song. Not saying that he didn't come, but I'm saying like them two niggas was coming. So like, you know what I'm saying? That was coming. CJ did what he's supposed to do and Tuzi, <laughs> overall, I guess, it, you know what I'm saying? It's a good song. It's a check mark from Bolo, man. So that being said, man, I'm going to let y'all go. Bolo TV, man. Look with y'all.